All right, the next thing I want to talk about is a draw stroke. So, draw stroke. Let me get rid of this empty mag here. <clears throat> Check that guy again. So, draw stroke just needs to be efficient. We need to be efficient at it. It needs to be smooth, smooth and efficient, right? So, smooth and efficient. It doesn't, you don't need to practice these fast. When you practice stuff like this, you want to perform meaningful repetitions, meaningful repetitions. You, the reason we want to perform meaningful repetitions is we want to etch skills into our hard drive that we can access at a subconscious level. Because most all of gunfighting are intuitive tasks. Uh, cognitive thought during a gunfight is planning, predicting, forecasting. The reason we need to separate the two is because we human beings, we are not multitaskers. We cannot perform two tasks simultaneously conscious level. We could task switch or task stack or perform certain tasks intuitively. So when we practice, we want to practice in meaningful repetitions. Meaningful. So nice and smooth, straight out, right? Now, when the firing hand is in motion, what else should be in motion? Your non-firing hand should be in motion as well. Your support hand. Now, where that support hand goes for you as an individual should be up to you as an individual. I like to bring my support hand up higher because then it allows me to bring my pistol up flatter sooner, which leads me to a question to you. When should I start prepping that trigger? When should I start prepping that trigger? I'm going to say as soon as you have an acceptable sight picture. Think liability. Not when you're ready to shoot or anything like that, but when you have an acceptable sight picture. So, because I'm bringing my pistol up higher, therefore flatter sooner, I can start prepping my trigger sooner. Because in a perfect world, I want that hammer to fall right at the apex of my presentation. Right at the apex of the presentation. Boom. Right there. In a perfect world. That's when I want that hammer to fall. Right at the apex of the presentation. Now, the best draw stroke advice ever given to me was by this guy named Rob Latham. And if you don't know who Rob Latham is, you just need to turn off this and Google him. Anyway, Rob Latham's the best pistol shooter on the planet. Rob Latham said to me once, Mac, the best draw stroke is nothing more than holstering in reverse. <laughs> N is for knowledge. Damn. All right. So what he's talking about is reholstering is very intuitive, right? It's just straight back and straight down. All we need to do is reverse the process. That's all we need to do. Now, the first part of your draw stroke can be aggressive, but you always want to slow down the presentation just a little bit. Slow down that presentation just a little bit. Now, another thing, since we're talking about this, let me talk dry fire. One of the things I do on dry fire is I'll get something small, like a Visine bottle, something like that, and I'll set it, set it there, and then I'll back up until my front sight post is the same size as that Visine bottle, same size. So now when I dry fire, I'm driving the pistol straight to that Visine bottle. Straight to that little teeny target. So, because when we dry fire, we want quality reps. Quality over quantity. Anyway, thanks for watching this block. Rock and roll.